She blew out the candles. Baby, say chica. Ah! Ah! Cedric the birthday boy. I'm not ready. Is it too late to change my mind? Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of the royal family. So this episode is going to be wild because we have so many sims that have aged up. So prepare to just feel like the time has completely flown by because that is how I feel. I'll talk about it in a second. This episode takes place a year after the last episode and before we begin I'm going to do a quick recap of what happened with the time skip. After Alice May woke up in the hospital, Caspian and the rest of the family were so relieved. Caspian told Alice May that he was so sorry for blaming her for not telling him about his parents and that he talked to his parents and Nia told him that Alice May had come to her as soon as she found out Caspian didn't know the real reason why his parents got divorced. From the accident, Alice May had broken legs and wrists slash arms a broken rib, some internal bleeding, and back and neck injuries. It took Alice May almost a year to fully recover from the accident. She spent the first several months in a wheelchair and it took several more months before she could fully walk on her own again. Amira and Jabari's anxiety for their kids' safety grew even more after the incident. Even after months of therapy, they still tried to convince Alice May to wait another year before attending university. However, Alice May persisted in trying to convince them and after months of begging, Amira and Jabari finally agreed. Alice May applied to Brightchester and she was accepted and will be attending in the fall. Alice May also worked hard to start a foundation that financially and emotionally supports victims and their families who have been affected by drunk drivers. For Caspian and his family, him and his mother grew closer after the incident. Nia has been trying to spend as much time as she can with him before he goes off to university at Foxbury. For Caspian and Maleko, their relationship has still been a bit rocky for a while. Caspian has needed space from him, but he has seen his dad during the holidays, and their relationship has been improving. As for Samaria and Bellatrix, they wanted to take time away from their families after they found out about their parents. Bellatrix's good friend Queen Desta suggested that they spend their time in Selva Dorada, where they now have their own place, so they spend their time there most of the year away from their families. They still partake in their royal duties occasionally, but they have not spoken much to Ava and Dean since. As for Kaleo and the Sulani royal family, shortly after the incident, rumors started circulating, revealing that Kaleo was the one who leaked the information about Caspian's dad's affair to the press. Soon after that, news got out about Kaleo's violent attack on Caspian a year before. The public immediately demanded that Kaleo be punished for his actions. Leilana stripped Kaleo of his title, and he is no longer his royal highness, and Kaleo has been suspended from his royal duties. Since then, Kaleo has regularly been going to therapy. There were also talks of sending Kaleo away from the palace, However, Dean and Leilana realized that would not do him much good since he had already spent his time away while he was at military school. Dean and Leilana also believed that a lot of Kaleo's behavior may have stemmed from their lack of attentiveness and parenting, so they wanted to make sure he was nearby to keep an eye on him. However, Leilana did order the staff not to attend to Kaleo during his time at the palace. So that is everything that has happened. It's been a lot, it's been a wild ride. We'll talk about everything in a bit too, but we are going to start with something fun and happy, and that is Mamie's birthday party. She's aging up into a child. A lot of toddlers that you guys remember have aged up into children. And then also in this episode, we are going to be seeing the, the teens who most of them aren't teens anymore, which is wild. Wild. Um, they're visiting Brightchester and Foxbury, so we're going to see all of them. Only some of them are going to university, but just as a friend group, they're visiting for the summer, making sure because they're kind of like getting things set up for when Alice May, William, and Caspian and Graham all move in. And then we are going to have Cedric's birthday party, and Cedric's going to age up into a teenager, which. <sighs> I don't think I'm ready, guys. I don't think I'm ready. I I just, I remember when he was a toddler and a kid, and I know he's been a kid for a long time, but he's just like forever so little to me. And I, I I'm having, a, I'm just, I'm, uh. 
I'm scared, but I'm excited. I don't know what this feeling is. It feels, I just, oh gosh. Okay, well, yeah, and then that's happening. And then we're gonna be checking in with the Zulati family. Um, and we're gonna talk about all the stuff that I mentioned in the time skip, in the time skip recap. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. If you're excited for this episode, or if you don't want these kids to age up, or if you do want them to age up, hit that like button and let's begin. Okay, so again, we are having Mimi's birthday party. This is, okay, a lot, some scenes are gonna look different, obviously, because some time has gone by. This is wild to me. So for those who don't know, this is kind of how I played in my game. My time, especially during Alice May's story, is paused, well, I have aging, age, I have aging paused for the most part, but be when I'm doing a time skip, I turn it back on, and then I use MC Command Center in the mailbox to like skip a lot of days, so I think I skipped like 12 days, but I wasn't prepared for The Sims that had aged up. Some of The Sims that were infants, they're toddlers, and then The Sims that were born in the last episode are infants, and it's just, ugh. Y'all, I am not ready. Time is going too fast, even though it feels like it hasn't. But anyway, okay, so first of all, so this is Cambridge. I don't know if you guys remember Cambridge. She's actually supposed to be a child soon too. Her and Felix, they're like a little bit younger than Mamie is. So they're actually supposed to be aging up soon as well. I'm actually, I'm gonna turn on my reshade. I don't know how well this is gonna go. Hopefully it won't be too laggy. And then we have Louie dancing here, but this is Mamie. She's about to be a child and then Cambridge, and then we have Baby Sade, who I think a little bit of time before she's a kid. I'll have to double check. Who is this? Who's about to sit on the throne? Valen! All right, so Valen's here. Desta's here because all the kiddos are going to be here. Uh, we, of course, have Corinne and Ellis. So people are kind of just coming on in. I'm going to invite people to the meal. Let's see. Call to meal. Uh, oh my gosh, Sade and... Cambridge, look at them. They're just sitting eating their food with their giant plates. I wonder too, so we're gonna start getting an idea of like friendships and relationships at this party too. Cambridge and Mamie don't have that high, Apple about sibling. They don't have that high of like a friendship. I mean, then again, they are toddlers and then what about Sade? So I just think it'd be I, I wonder. Oh, me? No, no, no. Don't be me. Okay, talk to stranger. Um, oh, Han and Fallon are talking to each other. I just wonder if Cambridge and Mamie or like Felix and Mamie, if they're going to be friends because obviously Cambridge and Felix are Charles and Fallon's kids. And then Mamie's obviously Arabic and Hans. Um, and then we do know that like Fallon and Minty have become like really good friends. The first time they met, they became best friends, which we absolutely loved so i'm just curious if they're gonna end up being friends with each other of course we oh my oh 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 i didn't decorate that i didn't know y'all were gonna eat in here at the table at the banquet table where most people eat i didn't why did i think that through oh man okay well apparently i didn't finish decorating they're all so quiet why are y'all so just standing there this is such like a interesting group we have kaito yes and then this is nikau or kyori this is nikau um I, I if you guys remember at ren's birthday party oh i can't remember who did it i think it was nikau was he the one that was like kind of being mean to ren and then diary was like hold up hold up that is my sister what are you doing or was that kyori do we have the whole like friend group like is there a club Nikau Kiyoni. Also, Kaikoa, Makai son, did age up. Y'all, I have some tea about Kaikoa. Hold up. There's some Sims that have aged up. I haven't completely finished outfits for everyone yet, but I plan to do that on stream soon. Honestly, because I, I've started like filming episodes on different days now, maybe it'll be done by the time I film and get to Cedric's birthday party. But Dali aged up into a teenager. We'll see her in the at Cedric's birthday party. But yeah, Kaikoa should be here too. Okay, the children though. What if y'all, oh my gosh. Oh, I thought Sade just flew, like threw that plate down. I'm debating, oh my gosh, Paola just dancing by herself. I'm just debating, I guess like not everybody is here yet, but I'm like, should I age up maybe now? I think I'm like putting it off as long as possible. Also Vincent, come here, honey. Where's the rest of your family? Call over. So people, some people are still arriving. Oh my gosh, we have the toddles entering. Oh, so of course you guys know Vincent. But this is Samuel, Diana, and Abraham's second child. He's just like a little bit shorter than Vincent. 
Vincent. And there's Oceane. She was an infant. You guys, the last time you guys saw her, but look at her. Bellatrix and Severia's daughter. And then, yeah, no, Heia is a kid, and I want him to get here so I can show him to y'all, because I, I, when he aged up, I was like, oh my gosh, I was not expecting that. Y'all, look at Mamie and Cambridge conversing. Maybe they can be, like, best friends. Cambridge will age up. Honestly, by the next episode, she'll probably already be aged up. I, I debated, like, maybe just aging her up here, but we'll, we'll keep it for Mamie, because she's supposed to be a little bit younger than Mamie. I don't don't know where Felix is, but I think it's adorable that maybe and Cambridge are having little toddle conversations with each other. And then look at Ocean bobbing to the music, you guys. This is so cute. And then Yuzuru, Kaito's brother, should be here also. I don't know where he is. It looks like Kaito and I know Sayori. They're actually pretty close. I feel like their families, like they're just with each other a lot. I want them to have a jokester's relationship because I feel like they would cause a lot of prank scare. I feel like they would cause a lot of mischief. <gasps> Wait, yes! Oh, yeah! Okay, all right. Yep, jokesters. That's the family dynamic for them. I can see it with, like, Rin and Kaito, too. Okay, I think I'm just... Uh, we're still waiting for people to show up, but I, I, I think I'm just gonna age up, maybe? <gasps> Uh, here we go. Help blow out cat. Oh my gosh. Oh, she's just peeking over the top. Mamie. Oh my gosh. Oh, Araminta, don't worry about the dishes. You have staff for that. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Is that trash on the floor? I don't know what that is. Okay. Oh my gosh. Wait, wait, wait. All right. Everyone over there needs to come here. Oh my God. Wait, wait. Oh, that's Han. I thought that was Cornelius. <laughs> okay, she's blowing out the candles. Maybe say she up. Ah! Okay, I'm gonna fix her. Hold on. Uh, let's see. So I can see maybe being like really wild. All right, she's outgoing, hot-headed, and then loves the outdoors. Social, social butterfly, yeah. Okay, so this is the outfit I have chosen for Mamie currently. I made her a little bit shorter with the height preset. So she's like smaller than the rest of them. Is that, oh my God, I was like, is that Molly Grace? And then I was like, wait, it's Ember. <gasps> I forget that she's here. <laughs> so she's supposed to be a young adult soon too, I told my stream. I Who's sad? Who is sad? Shin, why are you sad? I told my stream that we would do her and Liam's wedding on stream and I'll, I'll link it here. If, if we do it before I finish filming the end of this episode, I'll link it later in the episode. If not, I'll link it in the next episode. <laughs> She's here. She's dancing. Is Gilbert even here? I doubt Liam is coming. He never comes with her to these events. Honestly. Why, Vincent, why are you still out here, honey? Come on inside. Call over. You can tell a you wait, you can tell a toddler to just go away. I thought you couldn't even do that to children. Interesting. Han, come on. It's your daughter's birthday. Come dance with everybody. Come on. Oh, dance with Rin. Yes. Mamie can now use press to talk on talking toy. Okay, she acquired the social skill. I think Sayori's level 10 for the social skill. Rin is what are you, hun? Uh, oh, she's level 10 on motor skill. Wait, I think Sayori's also really high on the motor skill, too. So these girls, and we're going to start getting into Sayori's story soon. I, Sayori's story, uh, that is like almost a tongue twister. Um, I did mention that I'm not doing as many story posts anymore. So a lot of the story posts I was originally going to do for Sayori is probably going to be Machinima's. So it's going to start soon somewhat soon because some of it, like we'll, we'll get an idea of Zayori like as a kid. I just have to finish mapping out timeline things because like we'll, we'll see some things when she's a kid but then there's after another time skip when she turns into a teenager but we still need to see like Cedric and like in uh, high school and all of that stuff. But that'll be its own mini series. So probably within the next couple episodes though, honestly, maybe even the, uh, actually maybe the next episode. And basically, so this is still season two, um, but when she turns into a teen, that's kind of when like season three is gonna start. The the stuff when she's a kid will kind of just like build Zyra's character. So just to get an idea of like Zyra's character. Just to start with, I think because, I, especially with the baby being a little wild, I see maybe Mamie and Rin, wait, hold on. So Mamie and Rin don't actually have as high of a relationship. I feel like they butt heads a lot. I just feel like they're very different. I feel like Mamie's going to be like 
very girly. Rin is very tomboy. And Zayori is kind of in between. Like, she likes to be edgy, but she likes to be girly. But then she also likes to be a tomboy. <laughs> and now that she's a kid, I can see the arguing starting more between the two. Like, relationships are already going down. Oh my gosh, tr insult existence! Would she prank her? Oh my god, wait, wait! Did Araminta just scold her? Can we all get along? From loyal trait, Araminta is disappointed after witnessing her friends arguing that they're better than the- I mean, it's her friends as in her children. Witnessing inappropriate behavior. Wait, what is all the aggravating conversation from Red's conversation with Mamie? How are we even family from difficult family dynamic? Is that with Mamie already? Oh my gosh, they do have a difficult dynamic, you guys. Wait, did that just happen or was that already there? Yo. Who's crying? Oh, Shade's crying. Oh, Shade, baby, it's okay. Oh my God, she's so cute. <laughs> She, she's crying to them. No, 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 honey. Don't, don't cry. Don't cry. Don't cry. Don't cry. It's okay. You're okay. Oh, respectful introduction to the toddler. Don't let... She's like, well, hello. And Shadi is like, pretty. Araminta, pretty. The Empress is pretty. Mikau is angry. Why is Mikau angry? Mikau is talking to Zayori and is angry. Dude, what happened? Oh my gosh. The little brothers are having a conversation, Samuel and Vincent. Okay, I think things have calmed down a bit between them. They fought and now they're talking fine again. Just typical siblings. <laughs> Wait, okay, but Ember, I don't even see Gil- Oh no, did Ember leave? Wait, I didn't even see Gilbert. You know what I think would be so funny is if she showed up here. Maybe like Gilbert was invited, but maybe Gilbert got sick. Uh, this is the, under the assumption that he's not here. Uh, maybe Gilbert got sick, but then maybe Ember showed up anyway. <laughs> maybe she's here to network and like butter people up. Wait, that's been like a common thing with Ember. She keeps trying to like butter up hot and air and I think they're too nice to like be mean to her. <laughs> so she just keeps showing up. Okay, y'all, I need need Kaikoa to be here. I have, we, we created this whole backstory on stream and I want to tell you guys about it. I, I might just teleport him here, honestly. Wasn't Makai invited? To, where is everybody? Makai was invited. Okay, I can't find Makai. I need him to show up. He was invited. But here's Kaikoa. So Kaikoa is a child. Wait, no, Heia too. You guys have to see no Heia. Where is everybody? I'm just gonna, I, you know what? Honestly, I might invite the whole group here. All right, I've started a gathering, so they have no choice but- No, Rin, please, this is your sister's birthday Oh my god, she's actively trying to ruin baby's birthday. <laughs> Calm. Ask not to make a mess. Say, Rin, honey, don't do that, please. Okay, so this is Kaikoa. Oh, Kaikoa and Mamie actually are like, they do, they have a bit of a friendship. Pranks, monkey around. They're all being little tricksters. All the Guangxi girls are like being little mischief makers, which I love. Um, okay, so Kaikoa, we on stream, they help me decide it. They're helping me step out of my comfort zone. So um, Kaikoa, what is it? Oh, I forgot what I was gonna say. Okay, honestly, he should be shorter too. He should be little, like Mamie. I think I was just comparing Mamie to the other ones, but Kaikoa is like her age. All right, so Kaikoa is a loner, a geek, and lazy, which is all very opposite of Makai. So a lot of his dislikes are uh, what is, like just very outgoing sim which is wild too because we all know jessica his older sister is like crazy loves pranks she is so outgoing she's a huge jokester so what if he doesn't get along with her I, like what if he just doesn't like joke what if he doesn't like pranks and maybe a lot of that being because jessica pulls so many pranks <laughs> he's like i've had enough that's enough but then again mamie's also kind of wild and a mischief maker so maybe her and kai Kaikoura are gonna end up growing apart oh my gosh he's so oh my god oh my gosh look at this angsty little kid he, he he's angsty but yeah it's like it's so interesting to me that if like makai like most of us love makai the majority of the venom loves makai i love makai he is great sayori please mischief makers stop ask not to make a mess but like his son doesn't really get along with him like he's got a difficult relationship with this son even though he's trying so hard but like i I guess Kaiko is just so different from him. I feel like Kaiko is more similar to his mother, Lily. So maybe he gets along better with her. Man, Louie, you are going at it. Also, Cambridge, don't cry, honey. Uh, oh no, oh no, she's dancing and bobbing happily. So, so cute. Also, Kyo's here, Ty is here, of course. Rin, Mika, why are y'all just standing here? Come here. Ask if Moon is a banana. 
Okay. Oh, oh, but but now. Oh, embarrassed. Why are you embarrassed? Why are both of you embarrassed? Awkward encounter from socialization. Called out from being confronted by a loyal sim. Oh, Princess Mimi got called out for her mean behavior towards a sim. Aramis did yell at her. Or maybe not yell. She was just like, hey, don't do that. Oh my gosh, they're all just so cute. I can't. Uh, it's gonna be like a several more episodes, but I, when as I rages up to a teenager, it's gonna be freaking wild. Mimi, are you trying? Trying to make Heiko feel better. He's so embarrassed. This is actually kind of cute. Okay. Okay, well, not everybody showed up that I thought they would. What the heck? What happened? Like, uh, Bella. Wait, yeah, where's Bellatrix and Samaria? I invited them. No, hey, it didn't end up showing up even though maybe there's just so much going on with them. Uh, they're going through a lot, honestly. I, I don't blame them if they weren't able to go. But even like, there's Desta, she's jamming on the computer. And, like Osiris, Adric, MM, I invited them. Where's Pilapo and Sione and Makata? And uh, I mean, it's a lot of families going through it too, but where, why, why? I guess a lot of people couldn't show up this time. It's kind of a bummer. Okay, well, maybe more people will show up to Cedric. They better. That's gonna be fun. I well, okay, you know what though? We got an idea of like the relationships at least with them. So I think this is a good time to like move on. But like you guys gotta see Kaikoa as well. And that's what I was really excited to talk to you guys about was Kaikoa. And maybe Kaikoa are still friends, it seems. Rin's feeling confident. We saw like a bit of the dynamics between the Guangxi girls. I can from com they're all gaining confidence too. Uh I need to get them involved in like all the after school activities. I want to see if there's mods for that. They're doing martial arts. Hans teaches the martial arts. They're doing like I desire doing like gymnastics. They're all they're doing dance. They're they're doing a lot of stuff, so they're 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 gonna be a lot of fun. And the sass and the drama with all of them is gonna be very fun as well. Okay, so we're now in Brightchester, and I don't know how many of y'all remember, but this was Charles and Maxwell's home when they went to university at Brightchester. Oh no, why is William tense? But I keep, I'm gonna, ugh, I'm so used to calling them the teen group. Most of them aren't teens anymore. Um, so Alice May and William are, they're gonna be moving in soon. They started bringing stuff in, so I don't know how many of you guys are gonna recognize the place. I'm gonna do like kind of a whole revamp of this too, so they can like make make it their own, but there's some things still from Charles and when Maxwell was here. So they're having a party. This is like, you know, there is also writing in her diary. <laughs> oh my gosh, Molly Grace and Graham are dancing with each other. Malia is here. So yeah, they're like young adults. And, and Caspian's gonna turn into a young adult. I'm gonna have him blow out the candles in a bit. Alice May, I heard this a little later. I uh, This isn't really following much of a timeline, but when she goes to university, technically like after the first semester, she'll be a young adult. But of course we know William and Frederick are already young adults. Some people have new hairs. Duke Hegg stand, yes. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Caspian is cheering them on. Hey, he did a successful one. Oh my gosh, and now he's feeling very energized. So yeah, and uh, let's see, Caspian, do you wanna do one? So, Graham and Caspian are gonna be roommates at Foxbury. Uh, some people say that they think Foxbury and Brightchester are like several hours away. Honestly, I feel like they're only like 30 minutes away. It's just, it's in the same world. Like, I feel like it's so close, so. But, so here's what everyone's gonna do. So uh, Caspian and Graham, they're going to Foxbury. Alice May and William are obviously going to Brightchester and they're going to be living here. Molly Grace is going to dance school, which I'm gonna have to make adjustments because it is The Sims. Um, she's going to a dance academy. Frederick is going to be focusing on his royal duties and doing studies at home in Burlington Bay and Tartosa. Jessica doesn't know quite what she wants to do yet. She's taking a gap year. Nani is going to be helping out with some royal duties as well. And they've got their own like environmental stuff and like cultural stuff they like to do with Sulani. Did I, am I missing anybody? Malia is taking a gap year. So they're kind of just here to party and oh my gosh, is he really? Are you, I mean, I guess you want to, okay, that's fine. Okay, well, why don't you hang out with William and Frederick then? <laughs> all right, all right, all right, here we go, here we go. They're getting the college experience. I remember doing this with uh, uh, Charles and Maxwell. They had a party. So I think one of the next videos I'll post, good job, Caspian. One of the next videos I'll post is going to be a new, I'm, I'm doing a new mini series. We're, we're gonna be doing a mini series. It's going to be Alice May and William at university and uh, we'll get a lot of chaos 
chaos, especially with William, um, and then Cedric, who's starting high school. So it'll be like a, I don't even know what to call it. Siblings at school. Well, if you have a name suggestion, let me know. Um, they're all dancing, they're all vibing, yes. I'm actually, I think I'm gonna have Caspian go ahead and blow out the candles. So yeah, this is William's room, if you didn't notice. It's still got some Maxwell stuff in it. Um, Benji's here, Benji's gonna be here. Oh, where is Benji? Oh, there, oh, baby! Oh my god, I love him. I love him so much. Finn is going to be here. They're gonna have, like, I, so as I mentioned that Jabari and Amira, they, it took a long time for, okay, William's getting down. It took a long time for Alice to convince them to let her go to university. They really wanted her to stay home and take a gap here. Is that a controller just like in the table? Alice May is gonna have her whole like video gaming set up here, like a switch or something. <laughs> also, Nani got a haircut. I got Nani's hair, I love it. Um, What was I saying? Oh yeah, so it, it took a lot of convincing, but Amira and Jabari finally agreed that, but there are bodyguards here. Finn's going, I'm gonna make a spare room for Finn. It'll be kind of small, but he's gonna be here. And the, they were like, no, bodyguards need to be there. They need to, I, they need to protect her. They need to make sure she's okay. They're very protective right now. I mean, they've always been protective, but the accident did not help. Alice may have some scarring from it too. I don't know if you guys can quite see right now. Um, but she's got some scars on her face from the accident. Uh, can you see it more? You can see it a bit more when the reshade is on, but um, some of those are probably gonna be pretty permanent. Also, I imagine that the bracelet that she had that matches Benji's collar got ruined in the accident. Hi, Benji, as yes, we're talking about you. Um, I'm thinking Caspian might get her another one, but maybe something that is a bit more subtle. All right, Caspian, why don't you go? Oh, he wants to dance. Why don't you go blow out the candle? Should I bring this downstairs? I feel like I should. All right, blow out candles. All right, Caspian's about to turn into a young adult. Here we go. Here we go. That drink is so rainbow. He, oh. <laughs> Hi, Benji. You've got zoomies. I guess he's changing it to it. Benji! I love it. Oh my god, he's just zooming around in the background. And Caspian's just standing there while Benji's zooming. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. All right, he's blowing out the candles now. Yay! Uh, having birthday? Um, romantic, selfish, or loner, loyal. I mean, we know he's pretty active. I guess we should just give him that one. I just don't want him to be doing push-ups randomly out of nowhere. I mean, I think he wants a big, happy family. I, I know they're at university right now, but that's an eventual thing. Oh my god, y'all, Benji is zooming. Look at, he's having so much fun. I'm obsessed with him. He's just having a blast. Oh my gosh, Benji, 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 Benji. He's having a blast. He's doing great. Parenting level? Wait, oh, I guess it's because he's a young adult and Alice May is a teenager. <laughs> Frederick's already getting parenting level stuff. Y'all, I truly feel like there is going to be so much chaos with William and Alice May at university. Those two on their own, I just, I feel like are quite, <laughs> like they're so used to their royal life, you know? Um, I'm gonna have to get rid of a lot of this, but uh, I, I just want to make this house very them because it was very Charles and Maxwell before. But I, I just, I, it's going to be wild. It's going to be crazy. Like they're both on different floors, they have their privacy, but and they're like cousins, they're used to hanging out all the time too. But I just feel like it's going to be so chaotic and I'm, oh my gosh, what is she doing? Y'all, oh my gosh, Alice May is jamming. She is jamming. <laughs> she is, she's dancing and having a blast. They're all like have, oh wait, <gasps> Graham, Molly Grace, what happened? Wait, 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 wait. Argue, argue, why? You know what though? I feel like Molly Grace's dance school, I mean like they've kind of always done long distance, but they can usually go to each other a lot. But like when Molly Grace goes to dance academy, I can't imagine she's gonna have that much free time or like be able to travel all that much. I think they wanna try to stay together though. Maybe they're talking about it. Or maybe they're just both riled up. Okay, maybe you guys should like, do you guys want privacy or? I don't really, can, do you guys want to go somewhere else? Maybe like outside or like, oh, okay. <laughs> Wait, that's William's bed. <laughs> 
me through all the first time you wanted to was in William's room. Okay, well, they can't go in there then. Um, outside maybe? Oh no, wait, no, well, Bob. Wait, guys, why are you, what, what are you, what? What are you arguing? Oh, Alice and Caspian, wait, but there's, okay, there's fighting, there's woohooing, there's kissing, there's dancing. There's a lot happening right now and there's not even that many people here. Is she upset? Molly Grace is confident. What is Graham? Graham's focused. Oh, now they're blowing kisses to each other. <laughs> okay, so maybe they fought and now they kiss and make up. Um, Malia and Nani, they're not gonna be long distance. They're both still gonna be living in Sulani. Oh my gosh, they're still going. William, just don't go in your room, William, please. You don't, you don't, you don't, you don't wanna walk in on your friends doing that. Just stay out here, baby. Yeah, Alice, but keep up distracting. <laughs> just talk to William. Okay, but yeah, this is. Uh, this will be William's room. Um, and I'll make this more like, uh, look like, you know, their, their thing. Um, they're, it's like technically summer and they're not officially like starting anything until the fall, but I'm excited for their university life. This is going to be wild. I think, um, and we'll see this too. I mean, obviously like they've all just been through a lot, but now they're like, it's almost like they're moving on to like a new chapter. This is a new chapter of all their lives. Okay, but yeah, they're they're getting things situated. So we'll kind of, I mean, like we'll keep an eye on all the relation. Oh my gosh, fireworks! Oh, oh, and they're done. Okay, well, and now they're sleeping in William's bed. <laughs> they can't stay up too late though because we're supposed to have Cedric's birthday, which also technically like doesn't. Oh, they're hugging. They're making up. Well, that's the update with them. We got to see the new place. We're, uh, I'll get it all like decorated before we um, start the actual series. We're gonna see adventures of and chaoticness of everyone, all parties involved. They're growing up. Okay, so I kind of ended up deciding to do Liam and Ember's wedding in this episode. I wasn't originally going to do it, but then I was like, you know what? This thing is going to be so messy, so dramatic, so messy that we have to do it. So on stream yesterday, we picked outfits for them. Um, it's probably like up there for one of the silliest streams ever. We tried the most ridiculous stuff on Ember. But I just, I, I was like, you know, it's gotta be gaudy. It's gotta be just so extra over the top. I feel like she would have asked Aisha to design a custom dress for her and Aisha was like, no, I'm busy. So I think she ended up getting a knockoff dress and it just maybe didn't turn out as well as she thought or maybe she thinks it looks good. And anyway, I, this is Ember now. Oh my gosh, and Gilbert. She's on her phone. Gilbert, her son is right in front of her. She's talking to Gilbert. This poor baby, y'all. I Okay, uh, so, so this, oh dear, oh dear. Okay, so it, there's a lot going on. Oh, she's actually hugging him. This is actually kind of she's being cute i feel bad i feel so bad for this kid you guys i i, I just I, it's going to be a mess this is going to be a mess here's liam i feel like he had a whole tux ready but somewhere along the line he like lost his parts of his shirt and his vest and his bow tie y'all this is actually manit which is if uh he's kanda's ex so he's a huge tool. I think somewhere along the line, they met at some like random event and Liam and Manit, both being F boys, immediately started getting along. So he's here. Ms. Ellis is, is here because Cornelius is dragged here. Oh, Nyla. Okay, some of them might be wearing their Debbie Tom Ball outfits. Oh my gosh, Elaine is wearing black like this is a funeral, which it kind of is. Corn is so dressed. Oh my God, Corn is miserable to be here, you guys. Wait, what's happening? Okay, I thought I saw some glitches. Look, you guys, Cornelius is, he, he was dragged here. He does not like his cousin Ember and he's miserable right now. Quirk revealed aggressive. <gasps> it's become clear that Lord Gilbert is a little more aggressive than other toddlers. Aggressive toddlers like the Rough House that are quick to hit, bite, or kick Sims so long as they aren't good friends. They don't ha even have to be angry like other toddlers. Watch out. Oh, I thought Gilbert was going to be like a sweet 
I mean, you know what? Sometimes people are aggressive kids or aggressive toddlers and they don't grow up that way. So you know what? Maybe he should be getting all his aggression out now so he can be like a well-adjusted teenager or, or, or adult because he's about to go through so much with having Liam and Ember as parents. Chris doing sit-ups. Oh, John is here. We have Nathaniel. Okay, so also before the wedding starts, a little bit more tea. We we came up with like more of a background. So Ember's parents, there's, there's actually a lot of tea to tell you guys about right now. Should we like, also this is uh, Elena Juliet, but while talking, she's wedding video. Um, they kind of are copying it. So we learned, we were like, something has to be up with Ember's parents for her to end up this way. Not that all only children are this way, but I do think her being an only child has a little bit to do with it, like her specifically. We learned her mother is a klepto. Also fun fact, her mother dated Makai for a bit, like after the whole Amira thing, Makai dated Kayla. Maybe he like found out she was a klepto and like dumped her ass. Oh, and they're being romantic. So then we learned her dad is a serial romantic, which, wait, which funnily enough, her dad has made out with Amira when they were teenagers. Um, so that, I didn't even think about that connection. Um, so he's a serial romantic. Her dad is having an affair with Kayla's sis, or like, I don't like think it's an ongoing affair, but like they've, they've hooked up um, with Kayla's sister, Christina. And Christina is the wife of his brother, Nathaniel. So Corinne's side of the family, Corinne and her sister Marjorie, who should be here soon, is so well adjusted. I think they're both pretty sane. Corinne's like brave. She's seen her family. Marjorie is like, she's Cornelius' favorite aunt, which I don't know if that says that much, but like she's Cornelius' favorite aunt. She's like very well adjusted. And the brothers on that side of the family are crazy. Like they gotta, actually, I don't think Nathaniel's as crazy. But uh, Wyatt is Nathaniel's. Just what is he? I, I, he's he's got other traits. Can I see them? Childhood buds. They were friends. Oh no, maybe something. I don't even know if his brother knows about the affair. Well, who's this dead person in your inventory? Oh, your dad. Oh well, that's awkward. Okay. Anyway, that's some lore with them. Also, Nyla's here at one of our past streams. Nyla, like Liam, wanted to invite over Nyla, so we let him. But Ember was there, and then he tried starting to flirt with. With Nyla in front of Ember, but I don't even know if she cared that much. I mean, Ember's like also flirts with other people, but then her and Nyla ended up getting in a fight. I'll link these streams, by the way. <laughs> I'll link these streams if you want to see. There's the one with the whole thing that happened with Nyla and Ember. This is all during the time skip this happened. Um, and then also the stream where we're picking outfits for Ember. Okay, let's get a wedding happening. I, I think we're still waiting for a few more guests. I think. There's not a lot of people who wanted to be here, so it's gonna be a small crowd. All right, let's 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 get this wedding started. Escort Wyatt. I wish you could do three so both her bears could walk her down. Ember. All right, here goes the craziness. Oh my gosh, is Ember talking to Manit? Also, if you didn't know, I, I, I don't remember. I think I said this on a Q&A on my Instagram. Manit and Ganda broke up because Manit cheated on her. So they dated for actually quite a bit and then she found out he was cheating on her and that's why they broke up, so. He's an F boy. Okay, Wyatt, we, there's a wedding. Do ni neither of them wanna get, okay, all right, there we go. All right, guests, come on, come sit down. No one wants to watch this. <laughs> Nobody, anybody. I'm using the arranged marriages mod, by the way. If you didn't see my mod review of that, I will link that as well. But yeah, all right, here we go. They're like awkwardly like, okay, yep, hold hands. Oh, oh, maybe Liam has had a bit to drink. Is anybody watching this? Nobody, nobody's coming to watch the wedding at all. Oh, attend wedding, attend wedding. All right, go, go watch your daughter get married. Put Lord Gilbert here. None of the guests are coming to watch you guys. They all, <laughs> they'd all rather do almost anything else. What a beautiful ceremony. In the sense that all ceremonies are beautiful. Lady Ember is exchanging her vows with Marquis Liam. All right, they're putting rings on. Oh, they didn't ask me if they wanted to do the kiss. This is a neutral wedding. It should ask me. Okay. Actually, I'll I'll do the I'll do this after, because otherwise it might move us into a different household, and I want to be playing. I I was playing from Ember's household, but Ember and Gilbert are gonna be moving in over there. Should be interesting. Three people attended. Okay, party time. Oh my gosh, her mom just got the jealous trip. Yes. Well, I was thinking maybe she'd be cool. 
or like unbothered by the affair with her sister, but I guess that's not very likely, is it, huh? <laughs> All right, so people are sitting down for the reception. Let's see who, what, what's going on here? This is Lord Zachary. This is Corinne's nephew. He, he's in like a situation ship kind of with Sissy, but he's here, Manuel, uh, John. By the way, I ended up just going for, uh, cause I was asking last, time if we should do uh, Natalia and Elon's daughter's name as Binta Marie. I'm just gonna go with Binta. I think it's easier. People made some good points about the initials. People made good points about her not being close to her mom, even though her mom's dead. So I'm just gonna go with Binta. It's just easier. Even though Binta Marie sounded really pretty, I'll, I'll use it for another name. No, no worries. Also, you guys, this is Vivian. She's so cute. She's a, oh, whoops. I just ended up a little bit during the time scheme. She is a sassy one. She's little, She but she's like full of energy and sass. Her and Priya are cousins. Look at them. They're adorable. Priya's gonna like, you know, we're gonna have her try to keep, what, is Priya wearing boots? Maybe she just really wanted to wear her boots. Um, she's gonna like try to keep her in check, but like she's a sassy one. Her first word is no. She's cute. She's very cute. I freaking love her. <laughs> Looks like Ellis and Cordelia they start dancing their problems away. Liam, let's see, is ever gonna try to talk to Liam? Oh, he's next to Nyla. But is ever gonna try to talk to Liam at all at their own wedding? Flirt, we'll, we'll, we'll do a flirting thing. She's at the bar drinking. Uh, but Juanita is here. Juanita, I thought you had a more dressed up dress. Oh, I think it's like kind of white. No, Priya, why are you crying, baby? No, it's okay. You're okay. I love her. I just, I want to like protect her. She's so, she's just, she's so cute. Like, I, 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 I mean, her parents are Benwell and Juliet, so I guess it makes sense. Oh, by the way, I want them to try for a baby. Should they do that here? Uh, um, nah, we, I don't think they would do that here. All right, well, yeah, I don't think they would do that here. Too much class. They're not. I'm sorry, this is very shady, but they are not Elena and Takashi. Should we have Elena and Takashi do it here? They're not, they don't want kids. They're not trying for kids. They won't be having kids. And it, uh, you know what? There's already enough messiness going on. I don't think we need that here. <laughs> I, oh my God, is she flirting with Manit? <gasps> In front of Liam. He's like laughing it off. Did you guys see that? He laughed that off. He's clapping. Oh my God, is he? Wait, that's weird. Oh my, oh, now he's mad. Now he's walking away angry. Oh my God, Gilbert's making a mess. No, 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 honey. Grandma, grandma, let's go get grandma. Uh, Pick up. Are you guys, are you guys still talking? What is happening? Is Lee, oh, 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 now it's, okay, the, so they had romance before. Now they don't. They, they've always had that negative relationship though. Is she, is he flirting with her now? Assert correctness? What does that mean? New family dynamic difficult. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Would you say that Liam would ever have a difficult family dynamic? Yes. Yes, I would. Oh my God. Perfect. I forgot about, okay. Kiss cheek. Uh, oh, you're gonna let her. Okay. All right. Okay. This is a weird relationship. Let's have cake. Let's cut the cake. Y'all stop being a mess and well, I don't know if you'll be able to do that, but come on, get rid of the cake topper. Okay, and then feed cake to Liam. Okay, that was nice and pleasant. I'm surprised she didn't shove it into his face. Where is everybody? There's literally, it's just Wyatt and Elena here. Should you call people? Maybe, maybe call people, call, call to meal. Where is ever? Oh, they're all up here. Okay, I was like, did they leave? Why are you all up here? They were like, we don't want to be around that mess. There was too much messiness going on. I can imagine Vivian like not liking Ember. Can you do a rude introduction to a toddler? No. Oh my gosh, she's having an unpleasant conversation with the toddler. With Vivian! Gilbert, what are you doing, honey? You're just standing. Do you want to go talk to like Priya and let's kick? Don't kick her. Share the love, share the love. Why is everybody up here? I don't under, Louie, you're so fashionably late and you're so dressed up for this. Okay, the king has arrived, y'all. Oh my, why is every, oh my God, they're literally all cheering for Luli. Luli, Louie, Louie. <laughs> Liam is up here talking to Nyla. Suggestive conversation. I mean, yeah, okay, flirty spouse from jealous. Is he getting, wait, is he getting his revenge? Why, do, why, I, I called them to the, why are they all up here? Priya's dancing by herself. 
Okay, I mean, to be honest, I don't think Nyla's interested in Liam. I think she just doesn't like Ember and... Wait, also, where's Liam's twin sister, Eloise? Because she doesn't like Ember either. I'm teleporting her. Where, where's... Wait, where's Liam's entire family? Like, his mother and stepmother are not... Did he just fart? Okay, well... I definitely invited Eloise. All right, and then, like, teleporting the- Oh my god, are they fighting? Wait, are y'all fighting already? I just invited her here. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, they're going to be sister-in-laws. They're gonna live together, you guys. Ember's moving in with Gilbert. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, Eloise is- Wait, wait, she's probably gonna- uh, She might even propose to Winston. She's gonna want to get out of there as fast as possible. Where's Winston? Winston was invited too. Be here to help your girlfriend out. They're just arguing. Oh, oh, right on cue. Hey, Winston, do you want to propose to your girlfriend like right here? No. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna do it. Well, let's do it. This is already so chaotic. Let's do it. Propose to her. Romance. Propose. I know she's like fighting with Ember right now, but oh, actually, you know what? She might be in a bad mood. Stop fighting. Okay, all right. Y'all need to stop. This is too much. I I'm trying to get a proposal going. Oh, she's tense. Oh no, is she not gonna say yes if she's tense? I guess we'll find out. Yeah, yeah, yes, she said yes, she said yes. <laughs> Thank goodness. All right, she's gonna move out of there as fast as possible. <gasps> Molly Grace is gonna hate this. <laughs> okay, well on that note, you guys got some insight on the craziness, I think. We could move on now. <laughs> and they got a proposal at this crazy wedding. Perfect, 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 perfect. Okay, so we're now at the mermaid palace. Also, there's a child like outside. This is like in the courtyard of her apartment, like screaming. So uh, if you if you hear that, that's not like screaming like something's wrong, but like. I think they're having fun. I don't know. Anyway, if you hear that, that's what that is. We are at the Mermaid Palace. We're with the Sulani royal family. So they're, we're just gonna do like a lot of catching up here again. As I mentioned in the time skip recap that Cleo has been going to therapy. He's actually at a therapy session now. So they're working on his behavioral issues, outbursts, all of that stuff. I'll talk about that in a moment. We have Dean and Leilana. Oh, they're having a steamy exchange. Also, I don't know if I've shown you guys here the updated like tails and, and like the mermaid fort. Does she have her phone in the water? Okay. Um, but like the updated form. So that's just Leilana's. I thought we made one for Dean on stream. So either we decided not to, or I don't know. I don't know what happened. I, I really thought we picked another form for him, so maybe I'll have that updated next time. This is Kimmy's. I don't know if you guys have saw that yet. Gosh, she's beautiful. And then Makani, you wanna come swim in the water? Swim here. So Samaria isn't here. Oh, you're un you're uncomfortable still? Nah, yeah, yeah, there's Makana's. Okay, cool, he's laughing to himself. Okay, so Samaria is not here. I really wanted her to be here, but um, obviously like it didn't make much sense to me because she is trying to spend more time away from the family which I, 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 she, she just needs space. Her and Beldrick, they just need space. So they're spending a lot of their time in Salvadorada. So they're at the Mermaid Palace because obviously the Zulani Royal family is going through a lot right now. They've got a lot of people who, I, I think at this point, this, so with the whole scandal, it was so stressful to handle. They couldn't go anywhere for such a long time without being bombarded by par paparazzi. It has been a year at this point, so I really think this scandal has kind of blown over. Leilana did like damage control and all that, but I think she really tried not to do as much damage control as she did before where she's trying to hide things. And obviously because that's what the people were upset about is that they're like, oh, this royal family is keeping secrets from us. Like what else are they like trying to hide? They're trying to make themselves See, like all hide money, like that kind of thing. So when all this stuff came out, Leilana just like truthfully, I mean, she told them the truth, admitting like with her, oh, okay, well, except, except though, uh, wait, I'll get to that too, but except for the thing about uh, May, because they aren't a hundred percent sure and they're digging deeper into it. So this is what I didn't mention in the time skip. Leilana and Leilana ended up telling Makai. So Makai is kind of helping them do digging. Makai is freaking out a little bit and Le 
Leilana didn't want to have to like, she she knew that he would like, this would make him so anxious and this would just, all, all these emotions would come up. But she's like, Makai, uh, he has to know. So they haven't told Amira yet because they aren't 100% sure, but they're trying to do some more digging. So that's kind of going on in the background. But anyway, they're at the Mermaid Palace because they are trying to spend more time together as a family. That is something Leilana has been doing, to, like just making a huge effort to do, especially with like all the stuff going on. She was like, you know what? Like this is like hard to handle, but I, I like she's aware. And so is Dean. They're aware that a lot of what Kaleo has done is because their lack of guidance and parenting, maybe not all of it, because sometimes people, sometimes people just kind of turn out awful no matter what the parent is like, but like they, they, they're sad a good about to do with it. So they're aware, they're trying their hardest. They're trying to work on their relationship at this point. So I was going to say it might not ever be the same and maybe that's how they feel. But when they're going to therapy, they were told like you, can either forgive and move on because they, they know that without 100% forgiveness, nothing's going to get better. Like they'll kind of just keep dwelling on it. And that's been really hard for Leilana. And I also am not saying that you have to or like that you should. Like I think this situation is unfortunately fairly common and it's everyone's choice. So I want to make that clear. Like if anyone has ever gone through this situation, like no, if you chose not to forgive, good for you. If you chose to forgive, good for you. Like it is your choice. You you do what you think is best for your family. So that is on you 100%. Um, a sense of emotions and their reactions and responses to those emotions, their behavior can have a profound effect on the quality of life and that of those around them. Mm -hmm. Addressing this is an important step to improving that quality of life. The family really benefits from therapy sessions. Yes, while communication can be hard, it's clearly important for everyone to have a chance to clear the air and speak their truth. Family therapy sessions can be difficult, but in the end, sometimes they can just be what the family needs to come together. I love this. I, I, I'm gonna link this uh, family therapy mod in in the description below. So, oh, what is this? It's relieved, pleasing session. That therapy session was really good today and has given Cleo a lot of cons a lot to consider. He is happy he went, okay. So again, it's been like a year that Kaleo has been going to therapy that they've like kind of gone through this. I think it probably took some time and like several therapists before Kaleo started to feel comfortable. Like they had to go through several therapists to find one that really worked for him. He was still like, what is the word? Not against it, but like, um, oh God, what's the word? Apathetic. He, he like wasn't as receptive to it at first, but I think again, he found someone that is working with him in a way that isn't making him like so against it. So I think, I don't know if it would have been this one because I don't know if he would have come out of it relieved, but I think recently, we'll say like the last therapy, something like that, the last therapy session. Also, while he's doing this, do you, ah, what do you wanna do? Uh, you like to swim it off, uh, sw swim around, swim around. Also, this is his new haircut. <laughs> this is his current hair. It's a little more like laid back. I think. And again, I don't want to say that like Kaleo's completely happy right now. Like I think they're still trying to work on things and it's been a lot of working on things. So yeah, again, what are you, what are you doing, dude? Why are you walking like that? Why are you? Oh, he's taking his sweet time. Okay. Anyway, um, so two things that I think are important to know, like I think therapy can be very personal, but two important things I want to share with you guys. So first of all, I think a very recent therapy session, I think like the therapist is aware that emotionally, that Cleo was emotionally abusive and you guys are aware too. And I, I like made it known with the trigger warnings and stuff as well. But I think with this therapist, especially like they're taking an approach of being like, not just blaming Clay, or like not just, how do I want to say this? Not just saying like, oh, you did this, this was wrong, you did this, because he's not receptive towards that necessarily. So they're taking a different approach. So the way, so he recently figured out and learned what he did was emotional abuse. He didn't know what emotional abuse was. He had never heard that term. Again, he's like, uh, he, he was a teenager, he's a young adult now, but he was a teenager. So the way he learned was the therapist kind of pointing out the different kinds of abuse and physical abuse and saying, it's not. Not all abuse is physical abuse, but saying what emotional abuse is. And I think them going through and telling him what it was, not saying like you did this necessarily, saying like emotional abuse can be not letting your friends, like getting upset at your friends for not doing something you want them to do or putting someone down to make yourself feel better or like doing all these tactics to make them feel that they need you. And you're basically like ridding their confidence and, and telling them like these awful things and, and then telling them like, oh, but I'm here for you. Like, so just kind of ingraining it in their head that they need you. And I think that some of the examples, there's probably more examples that they gave, but 
I think hearing those examples Kaleo during that session was just like, oh my god, this is what I did to not only Alice May, but like some of his friends too, but mostly Alice May. And I think that really just, it just sunk in with him. He was probably, it was probably a little bit too much like him realizing he probably didn't outright say like, oh, that's what I did. He was probably like, he honestly probably cut the therapy session a little short saying he had to go because it just had resonated with him and he was just, it, it was a, it was to him like realizing so much so it was a lot for him in the moment and then he had to like take time to think about it. So I don't know if he's admitted that to his therapist yet. I, I feel like that would take some time for him to admit out loud but I definitely think now he knows that. Now he knows that he was emotionally abusive. Now he knows that it's abuse. Because again, like us, we we see it, especially if we're older and we're like, oh, that's totally emotional abuse or that's ma manipulation. But like as a kid or like a teenager, if you don't know what it is or you've never heard of it before, like you're not, you're not gonna know what it is. You're gonna maybe think, oh, this might be bad or so-and-so, but you don't know that it's abuse. So I think Kaleo has finally realized that now. And they're working through a bunch of stuff with like his family and like his parents and all all the, all the backlash I got and him losing his title. Oh, I just, oh, you know what? Okay, oh, oh, so here's the thing with the title. Essentially, he's still Prince Kaleo, but they don't call him his royal highness anymore. So it's not like just Kaleo, but like in the royalty world, his royal highness, like their royal highness, their majesty, that is such an important thing. Right now, he's technically still Prince Glass. So I'm gonna keep it on there. And he's suspended from his royal duties. So I, I definitely feel like throughout this whole year, he's kind of felt a little bit lost. So after, like with the whole time skip, um, all the relationships I've essentially set very low. Some of them would have probably been negative before. Currently, the only one that's like actually negative is the one with his dad. But we're gonna work on their relationship. Talk about study. Wait, let's start with some small talk. Um, why are you way over here, Makata? Also, oh, oh, also, while, get, while, while, while we're doing this, can we Makata try for a baby, please? But yeah, there's just been like, obviously like a lot going on this family. Kaleo being suspended from his royal duties. Everyone finding out what he's done. It's really given Kaleo time to think. Honestly, I think he, he needed to be punished a long time ago, but I think this is honestly what he needed. Oh no, don't wait. Don't carry your child in here. I was gonna have you guys try for a baby. Kimmy is putting Pilapo in the pool. Okay, Pilapo's got the curlier hair. What was I saying? Oh yeah, with Kaleo. So yeah, he's, he's, he's been kind of lost throughout this whole thing, but it's given him time to think. I think his therapist is also stressed that she thinks it's important to try to find something that he's passionate about. So Kaleo hasn't quite found that thing yet. They've been obviously working on a lot of behavioral issues and stuff. Leilon is trying to get the family to spend more time with each other, so that's been happening. Unfortunately, Samaria doesn't want anything to do with them right now. Uh, I, I think her and Makana are still close, and but Makana is like, no, I, I understand. I think Makana's also pretty mad at his dad, and Kaleo definitely is too, but yeah, because now Makana knows, but Samaria did tell him, so. Let's see, physical intimacy kiss? Please, can, wait, one, two. Oh no, they can't try for a baby! There's eight sims in this house. Oh no. Oh. Uh, I'll have them try for a baby on stream after I figure it out. That was kind of the update with them. Claire is going to continue going to therapy. But yeah, again, I, I think that would, I mean, if you guys have other questions about Kaleo, I'm not sure if I'm missing anything, but like, I really hope I'm not forgetting anything at the moment, but like, that is what's going on with them. That's how things have been going. Again, still like, he's he's been feeling a, a bit lost this past year, but I think this is what he's needed to think. But now he's like telling his therapist, like, it's just sometimes if he gets too much in his head, like things start to spiral again for him. So that's why they suggested that he find something that he's passionate about, like try to find other hobbies. So Kaleo's been trying to volunteer. Like he hasn't really found Found anything that he's super passionate about right now, but he's 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 trying his best. He's he's a little bit like re oh reluctant. That was the word I was looking for. Like a bit reluctant with these things, but like he's trying to work on it. He really realized he messed up and like this punishment. It doesn't just turn someone away from doing this, but I, I Kaleo is starting to grow a bit more, and I really think this is what he needed to grow properly. Let's go have Cedric's 
birthday party. Okay, so we're in Henford having Cedric's birthday party. <laughs> I don't think I've hosted an event here yet, have I? I love this palace. It's beautiful, you guys. Lorecrumbs did an amazing job with this, but um, so uh, the, this is where we're having the birthday party. Where oh, what is happening? What is happening? Okay. Anyway, Alice May. So I don't know if you recognize this dress, but Diana has worn this dress a lot, so she's uh, like passing it down, kind of. There's Cedric the birthday boy. Take in ever. Oh wait, that's cute. Makai is hugging his nephew. Take in everything you can of Cedric being a child. Wait, no, Cedric, please. Wait, he's like, no, I'm ready to turn into a teenager. Cedric, please. I just, we need to. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. There he is. I'm just, I'm not ready. Is it too late to change my mind? Ah, okay, okay. I, well, well, wait, just like a second. So also, Ava is here. Um, I can hear Benji barking. Um, Benji, hi, baby. Ah! Hi, baby. I love him. I'm obsessed with him. Ava, is this in the outfit I picked for you? So this is actually one of the few times Ava and Bellatrix are gonna be in the same room. Because Bellatrix, again, has been avoiding Ava. She hasn't seen her. Like, she's seen her. Uh, oh, 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 there she is. There's Bellatrix looking fabulous. Oh, dear. Oh, what's happening? Oh, my God. Are you going to sit next to your mother? So we saw in the last episode that Bellatrix and Ava have a difficult dynamic now. So this is kind of odd. Awkward. There's Diana. Diana and Charles weren't too happy with their mother either, but like it's Bellatrix that's of course mostly just avoiding her. So yeah, okay, they're 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 sitting here. There's eating. I, I want to see. Can can we have dancing? Oh oh, Amira's cleaning up. Um, I'm trying to see the other Sims. Like Sterling's going to be here, and Sterling's a teenager. Also there. Oh hi Frederick, Ellis, Noheya. Wait. No, hey, no, hey, no, hey. Wait, is this what I picked for you? Why are you so angry? No, hey, why are you angry? Cedric, you want to talk to your cousin? Oh, you don't know your cousin? Oh. All right, no, hey, uh, and Cedric are talking more. Sterling. Amira, this is Amira now. I changed your hair. Ah, I'm not ready for people to grow up. I don't like it. Um, This is Lady Cassidy, which she has a lot of fans. Um, Although, the, why is this drink stinky? Go pick it up. And then Lady Tally, which is one of it's, it's Cedric's best friends. And I think him and Tally are best friends. I don't know where she is. Y'all, I forgot to lock doors. I should have, ah, oh, dang it. Who is Diana? It's on the computer. Um, I did lock the door to here. This is our monarch. Oh, God. I love this room. It's so, look, it's just, it's so cool. Like what? I oh, so I I love that room. It's just this hallway. Does anyone else like really long hallways? Because I think they're cool. Hallway is my favorite. I remember doing the monarchs meeting post here. That was fun. Anyway, uh, party, right? Party. Cedric. <sighs> Do we want it? I think we need to age him up, you guys. Ariana, your dress is freaking me out. Okay. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. Diana, or not Diana. Uh, Bellatrix is dancing her problems away. Aw. I feel like Cassidy is a little bit shy, but Alice Faye is making her feel nice and welcome here. That's really sweet. Is uh, A lot of people were supposed to be here. I want at least Sterling and Tally to be here. Caspian's supposed to come. There's a bunch of... Why aren't people showing up to these parties? I feel like... There's a good amount of them. Okay, Sterling is here. Sterling is here. Uh, this is so weird. Okay, Sterling is here. I it, I could not find Lady Tally to tell him where that is literally like Cedric's best friend. I want her to be here. All right, it says she'll be right over. This is Lady Tally. That's Nani's sister. Um, Sterling and Caspian are in the library together. Are you? Are you? Can you? What is this interaction here? Okay. Call over. Can you call over? Is he too? Oh, shoot. He's too far away. All right. You, you guys. All right. You know what? You guys need to. W w I'm going to make Cedric a job, and I don't want to do it, but I'm going to do it. Okay. All right. They're dancing here. Okay. Guys, it's. We're going to. It's going to happen. We're going to do it. We're. Ah. Uh. Sneak taste. Wait. Have I ever seen that before? Are you sneaking a taste? Are you sneaking a piece? Oh my gosh, oh my god. I don't think I've ever seen that before. He's giggling up a storm that's so cute. Okay, <gasps> it's happening. I'm gonna do it. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> ah! Bye, baby Cedric. <laughs> I don't want him to grow up. I feel like he's my child. He's so little and cute. Oh no, it's happening. Okay. Ah! Ah! 
Okay. Okay. Teenage uh, romantic travail. Romantic travails? Sweaty gym shorts and hormonal upheaval awaits. Best buckle those shoes. The ride starts here. Okay. Wait, is he? Wait, is he even creative? Oh, art. Oh, wait. No, he's creative. I think Cedric's going to live fast. I think he's he wants to be carefree and rules free as much as he can. He has more leniency to do that because he's not the heir. Guys, this is Cedric. <laughs> he's all grown up. He's all grown up. I can't, I can't, I can't. All right, he's gonna go to high school. Uh, I just, oh my, okay, go talk to Sterling now. Okay, so throughout this year. I, you are my favorite. Um, I think, oh, also I'm gonna make him dance. A dance battle! Again, who do you want to dance battle with? His sister, I have to see that. So this whole year, as, I mean, it's been very hard on the Winterberg family in general. Sterling's a very busy movie star. Obviously Cedric's busy too, cause uh, he's royalty. Uh, Sterling's been there for when he can. I, I do think sometimes Sterling might be a little bit more busy than Cedric and he might, they might've spent like a long time away from each other. Um, so Cedric hasn't been a huge fan of that, but I am going to make them officially date. I can't believe he's a teen. I can't believe he's a teen. This is weird. Okay, Cedric and Sterling are going out so uh, what is you, what are you doing with your chat with Prince Jabari dancing? Okay, now that Sterling and Cedric has gotten some privacy, first kiss, <laughs> embrace. Oh. Ah, there we go, okay, 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 there we go. Oh, did you see that smile? That was like a charmer sort of thing. Hi, Kellen, don't mind your nephew. <laughs> Has to be boyfriend, I mean, yes. Okay, okay, let's do that. Yes, yes, yay, yay, okay. That was cute. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, they're happy. Okay. Talk about marriage. It's so soon. Physical intimacy. First kiss. First kiss. First kiss. First kiss. Oh. Oh. Okay. All right. Okay. Yay! Oh my gosh. Okay. Good thing no one was walking by in that moment. Yay! I feel like Sterling does probably have like a movie coming up that he's going to be gone for a while for. The Cedric also starting school soon, so. To see more of them, of Cedric, and also of shenanigans with, where's William? William is supposed to be here too. Um, but then you can watch the miniseries, which that will be out soon. Alice May is like, come on. Oh, Alice May, you know, do you know Sterling? Okay, you should, you should probably. Howdy introduction. Oh my gosh, I need to plan for horses soon. Respectful introduction. I think this, I, this episode's pretty long. I think let's, that's a good place to stop. Guys, Cedric and Shubby's no longer a child. Also, oh my gosh, is he gonna miss Alice May when she goes to university? She's going soon. He is, he is going to miss her. Okay, next time we see them, they'll be in school. I can't believe they're growing up. We're gonna end this episode here. So we did a lot um, in that episode. I more so want to say for happy stuff, not as dramatic, although Ember and Liam did deliver a messy wedding. I'm gonna start Sayori's story soon. That honestly might be the next Royal Family episode, and then you can look out for very soon um, the mini series for Cedric and Alice May. So yeah, if you enjoyed this episode, make sure you hit that like button, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!